going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. All right. So this is a general love reading, meaning it is not a twin flame reading. But if twin flame cards do come out, you know, I'm definitely going to let you know. Um, this is a timeless reading, meaning that whenever you find it, it's for you. But we are going to be focusing on the energy of September. So let's rock and roll, Aquarius. We're starting out with my mermaid. Oh, God, it's not a mermaid. It's, I mean, yes, it is, but it's, it's called the Oceanic Tarot. I almost said mermaid deck, but I didn't want to get it confused with my mermaid deck, which is my Lemurian love oracle. So, <clears throat> all right, let's dive right in. Aquarius, we're reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, what do our beautiful Aquariuses need to know about their love connections in September? Aquarius, what do we got for Aquarius? Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. It's an energy of working together, right? <clears throat> what else do we have for Aquarius, please? Aquarius. Page of Wands. Creativity. Let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius, please? So someone is, is watching you. They're very intrigued by you. Okay. Aquarius, please. What else do we have for Aquarius? It's possible you have a connection coming in. Woof. Chariot. It's possible you have a connection coming in through a work um, connection. So with the Three of Pentacles and Page of Wands creativity, I feel like there is a possible... Working with someone on something in regards to work. So it's possible that some of you will be working with someone. Um, like you'll be partnered with someone at, um, at work doing something. And I feel like there's going to be <clears throat> more than just a creative um, energy flowing. <laughs> If that makes sense. So we have the chariot, which is movement. Also, wow, there are the seahorses, which is my twin flame symbol. So take that how it resonates. I'm not sure how this is going to tie into this reading yet. If we definitely get more than one card with the seahorses, I would say this could be a twin flame connection, right? I hesitate to say it right off the bat, you know, because we do only have one card. But, you know, they are, their tails are connected, so you never know. And, you know, the seahorse is my twin flame symbol. Like, that is what I use in this deck as my twin flame symbol. So I'm just going to throw that out there. So some of you could be dealing with a possible water sign because chariot is a cancer, is, you know, the card of cancer, right? It's possible also you could meet this person while working or traveling. So... I feel like this is someone who's been watching you for a minute, though. Yes, someone watching and trying to manifest you, or you're trying to manifest them. There's another seahorse, but it's just one. Either way, this person feels like you're the whole package. They're attracted to your mind. They're attracted to your body. They're attracted to your soul. This card, the magician card, to me, this is the whole package card. It's the, it's the card of someone trying to manifest you, but it's also the card of someone seeing you as a whole entire package. They like your, your spirit. They like your energy. They like, you know, your personality, your mind, the sword represents your mind. You know, the, this would be like, you know, the material, but it's, but it's also like, you know, the things which make you, you, um, 
I call it like the personality, right? You know, all of these are, are aspects of someone's personality, right? They see you as a whole entire package, okay? Let's see what else we got. Can we get two more cards for Aquarius? Two more cards for Aquarius, please. Woo! Look it. We have happiness, Aquarius. I told you there's. this is a really deep connection. We don't even need to do any more of these cards. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, it's a happy connection. <laughs> there is no more tarot that needs to be thrown on that. <laughs> so possible connection um, with a work collab partner or while traveling. It's possible that you will be traveling for work and meet this person. Or, you know, you're going to be traveling together. But to me, it feels like you're traveling for work, um, some kind of work collaboration, and you meet this person while traveling for work. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to pull three spirit cards for you. This reading is going to be super short and sweet, huh? The energy was so good, I didn't even need to give you any more advice as far as that tarot goes. It's happily ever after. You got the happiness card. There's nothing left to say. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah! Spirit making me work today, huh? All right, let's see. What do we got for Aquarius? We have, I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. Of course you do. <laughs> You're an Aquarius. 21, following your own path. Okay, so whoever this person is, they're going to have to accept that no matter what, you're going to remain independent. Aquarius is always follow their own path. They're the rebels of the Zodiac. So yes, of course you do. Okay, for some of you, you might have a dragon guide as well. There's a dragon here. Um, you've been doing a lot of crystal healing energy, right? Shining your light for others. Of course, this is such an Aquarian card. Look at this. We got that dragon fiery energy, which, you know, totally encompasses the energy of Aquarius. We have the healer, right? Shining your light for the world, right? You guys are often the way showers. You know, you shine your light so other people can find your way, find their way, right? While at the same time, not letting anyone stand in your way, right? You're the rebellious humanitarian. I love it. And you have big dreams. That's being shown by the um, the dream catchers. So you are a dreamy, hopeless romantic. But most people would never guess that about you, Aquarius. Number 15, find your bliss. All right. Add two and one. It's number three. So there's an ascended master number for you, Aquarius. Um, we have find your bliss. I'm following a path I love and I'm fully aligned to my soul purpose. Look at that Aquarius. We have two cards of following your own path, following your own, your own guidance and making your way into the world, doing it your way. Look at that. It's totally Frank Sinatra energy. I did it my way. Look, following your own path. I am following a path I love. Look at you. Following your heart's desire, right? So doing that, following your bliss and forging your own path and doing what you love to do, Aquarius, is what brings this person in, right? We have 15, you added up five and one, it's number six. So it's possible that you and this person are both spiritual and you might meet um, in some type of spiritual work, right? Like you, you might do some spiritual work for them, some healing work or something along those lines, or they're going to do some spiritual work for you. I don't know how that's going to play out, but it says it talks about you following your path. So I feel like this person will come to you for some sort of spiritual 
guidance or advice. Okay, if that makes sense. Number 25, spirit guides. I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom that they share with me. So yes, you are, you trust your own guidance, right? You trust your own guidance. You're the high priestess or the high priest, whatever, however you want to. It's not about gender, okay? So you trust in yourself and trust in your spirit guides. This is why people come to you for spiritual advice. And it's possible someone is going to come to you for spiritual advice or some kind of spiritual work, healing work maybe or something and i feel like this person is going to be your person so five and two is number seven. Ooh, you have luck on your side too aquarius look at that she's holding something in her hand it's like a bird or something and look there's a spirit guide it's a, a female it looks like an ancestor watching over this feminine you're probably very in tune to the moon look at there's the moon phases there this is very aquarian energy too she's sitting in the water right which is a symbol of aquarius you're entering a really lucky time in your love life right now aquarius all right we're gonna throw some romance angels on this shit so trust your inner guidance and your intuition because this is gonna lead you to um this connection which, if I'm gonna be honest, it feels very twin flamey. Just saying, I don't use I don't use the, the, that word lightly, you know. But like I said, the, the two um, seahorses came out. But we're gonna throw some romance angels on here. What do Aquarius's angels have to say about this connection? Okay, this will confirm if it's definitely like the love of your life, like your your twin flame. Okay, the angels don't lie, Aquarius. <laughs> Neither do I. An energy reader, that's what we do. We read energy. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So someone has not, someone in this connection has had feelings for a long time, but they're playing it cool. Aquarius is, have a way of bringing that out in people right nobody can read Aquarius and so men and women alike get nervous about you know telling Aquarius is how they feel because they think oh they don't they don't know how Aquarius feels about them so this doesn't surprise me at all calling in your soulmate there it is so yes you you're manifesting and calling in your person right your twin flame your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together so keep on doing what you're doing. Keep imagining them next to you. Imagining the smell of their skin. Imagining what they would feel like laying in bed with you. Cooking eggs with you. Drinking coffee with you in the morning. Smacking your ass when you make food. Do whatever it is that helps you to feel connected to this beautiful energy. And the angels are also helping you to call in this person, Aquarius. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So... Either one or both of you have children, and when you get together, it's going to be like instant mix of family, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, you know, it says your love life is being affected by children, meaning that you are careful about your partners and people that you let into your energy field because you probably do have children. And we we, we are picky, right? Us moms single moms that have children we don't just let any old tom dick and harry around our kids right so this is a good thing this is 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 why you're so picky in regards to choosing you know the people that you let into your energy field this is not a bad thing so go ahead and let your love life be affected by children this is good it's not a bad thing at all spirit is saying you know it's because you have children that is why you are very particular about anyone you know, you don't just casually date. There is no such thing as casual dating for someone that has children. So there you go, Aquarius. Um, what's next? Let's do your career portion. And then we are going to end with um, the spirit guide, which is helping you in this connection. And we are going to be done. I don't know why these cards are upside down. All right, so I accidentally 
shuffled some of these upside down. We're just going to ignore that. <laughs> all right. I mixed them all up. All right. What is the career advice we have for Aquariuses? Career advice for Aquarius, please. We have dreams of abundance. Yes, queen. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Okay. So it says, as you sleep, God and your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions in your dreams. Oh, my God. Look at that. So it's, oh, my gosh. There's so much going on in this card. There is an angel. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry. I'm freaking out. There's an angel playing the violin there is a swan in this card okay definitely Aquarius that the swan is also one of my symbols of the twin flame so if you are dreaming at night of someone I would say yes if you have questions about this person being your twin flame I would definitely say yes the swan is another one of my big twin flame symbols I just had to throw that out there this is not a love card but the swan definitely shows me that this is going to be a deep connection when it comes in. Also, there's um, an angel chilling here on this branch. And there's three angels here. So there's the number three, which is very important somehow. You know, I feel like you're going to start seeing the number three, which lets you know that you're on the right path, right? When you start seeing threes, it's also the ascended master number. So... You might be an ascended master in disguise. You know, I feel like you're probably an amazing spiritual um, teacher and person, right? Your spirituality is probably extremely important to you, especially if you found me. Um, not everyone stumbles upon me. I'm not the typical tarot reader, <laughs> definitely not. So those that are guided to me... Um, are guided to me for a reason and drawn to my vibration for a reason. All right. So it would be wise to write down your dreams, keep track of your dreams, because there is guidance in your dreams about your next step for um, what's going to bring you your greatest abundance in your career. Aquarius, one more card, please. Conscious consumer. So this is about um, you having a choice as to what it is that you consume or put in your body or what you purchase. You know, we are all, to be a conscious consumer is to be someone that only will purchase things that, you know, are vegan, um, you know, Things that are animal friendly, um, things that can be easily, um, oh God, what's the word? What's the word? Environmentally friendly. That's what I was looking for. Ethical, fair trade, organic goods, things like that. Um, you know, fair trade is where they treat their workers well. Um, you know, they don't rip things from the earth in order to get the product. Everything is, you know, the earth is treated well when they the products are made and things like that. So spirit is asking that you be a conscious consumer because it just um, it is going to increase your blessings. You know, allowing yourself to be a conscious consumer. It's like, you know, we're we're all about, you know, being the one conscious anyways like you know to be conscious means to be awake so it only makes sense to you know the, let that energy extend to like um what we consume or what we put in our body or what we buy right that's just another way for you to help um grow your beautiful abundance and blessings which are coming in so I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and share my recent experience with being a conscious consumer. So um, my son is extremely allergic to everything. <laughs> like he um, is very sensitive to things and products. And I had to switch to 
um, a laundry soap which has absolutely no synthetics or fragrance or anything in it, it's perfumes, dyes, anything. Um, and so I use all free and clear for him um, because he was breaking out in these rashes every day. And I had trouble finding a soap. Like I would even buy soaps like Dove, which were supposed to be hypoallergenic and, you know, for sensitive skin and he would immediately break out. And so I finally was so fed up and I was searching online and I came upon this soap called Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. And oh my God, that was a game changer. <laughs> for those of you that like um, liquid or bar soap. So I chose to buy the bar soap. Um, there also is a liquid which comes in a bigger container that you can use for literally everything. So you can use the Castile soap for your body. You can use it for your hair. You can use it to even do um, to clean your home and things like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can also use it to do dishes and laundry. Um, you just have to like dilute it a little bit. The same as when you clean. Um, like to wash your hair, if you get the liquid, you would use like two or three drops just to wash your whole entire hair. If you have longer hair, obviously you'd lose, use a little bit more. But I bought the bar soap and the bar soap you can also use to wash your whole entire body, your face and also your hair. And I was skeptical when I first started using it on my hair. It was just 21-11 um, on my phone, so 2111. But when I use it to wash my hair and also my kids' hair, I was really shocked at how much it lathered up and how gentle it was on our skin. And there was no itchies. There was no dryness afterwards. You know how bar of soap can leave that film, which leaves you itchy and dry. There was none of that. And I was pleasantly surprised by how much it lathered up when I used it in my kids' hair. And it made our hair so soft. Like I didn't even use a conditioner afterwards. That's how soft it made um, my hair. And then I just put coconut oil in it before I dried it. And it was it was just phenomenal. So um, I'll share that with you, Aquarius. Just in case you are into like natural, fair trade, organic products. Everything is 100% natural in those bars. And they're just phenomenal. And they're not really expensive. They're really budget friendly too. So... I got the bar on sale at Myers for $3.99 and they're normally $5.99 and the big bottle is the liquid is like $15.99 so it's really not bad. There's something in my eye. Uh, it's been bugging me. All right, so we have the Web Weaver. This is the guide which is helping you to come into union. So it represents synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. It's number four. So once again, there's that angel number letting you know, Aquarius, that um, this connection is divinely guided by the angels, the romance angels, your guardian angels. Spirit is working to bring you two together. So it's about following the synchronicities, realizing that every single web that we weave is connecting all of us. Have you ever seen a spider web, how it starts in the middle and sort of um, rotates out in a spiral and then it comes back to the middle, right? It's all connected, but it starts in the middle, goes out and then comes back to the middle, then goes out again and comes back to the middle. So everyone that we meet, we're all connected somehow, right? By this web of life. It's about following those connections and those synchronicities, there are no accidents in the universe, right? Everything leads you back to this person because this is your person, okay? I just did a reading for Virgo and I said, all webs lead back to you. And it's the same type of energy. All webs, all doors, all things lead back to you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading Aquarius. Sorry so much. Sorry I talked so much about the soap, but I'm just really excited about it. I love it. And my son finally had one day where I gave him a bath and he was like, mom, I'm not itchy. And it was just so um, amazing. So yeah, I was just excited about it. If you want to book a reading with me, um, all of my information is in the description box. Just click on the Goldie appointment fix link. Um, if anything resonated, please like, subscribe. It's completely free to you. And um, go ahead and hit the notification bell. So that way you don't miss any video that I uploaded because YouTube will not 
inform you of every video I upload unless you hit that bell like you'll just only get like certain videos that I upload and if you hit the bell it means that you won't miss any video at all that I upload. I love you so much Aquarius. Bye!